Here's a really nice question that people have asked. A model is producing negative R squared scores. How is this possible? If it's the square of R, shouldn't it be positive or at least not negative? The first thing you should know is that people, different people use different definitions of R squared. If you're in a group that's working on a project and you're not sure which definition they're using, it's totally legitimate to ask. The sklearn documentation explains the, the version used by the sklearn estimators. So it's one minus u over v, where u is the residual sum of squares, which is y true minus y predicted squared sum. And v is the total sum of squares, y true minus y true mean squared sum. So in a little bit more mathematical notation, you could write this as r squared is one minus the sum of the true y values minus the predicted corresponding predicted y values squared all over the sum of the true y values minus the average true y value squared. Now let's notice something. What happens if our predictions always match the corresponding y value? Then this y predicted would just become y true. So you have y true minus y true. This would become zero and you'd be adding up a bunch of zeros, you would just end up with minus zero, which is one. You fit an sklearn regressor or estimator, and you get a score of exactly 1.0, that means the predictions are exactly matching the true values. That could be great, or it could be overfitting on the training set. One. Another situation, what if we always predicted the average target value? We just took the average value of the true y values in our training set, and we just always returned that as the prediction. Then this y predicted would become average y true value. And you would actually see the numerator and the denominator becoming the same thing in this particular situation that we're discussing, these would be the same. So then what you would have is one minus one, which gives you an R squared value of zero. So how is it possible to get negative R squared? Well, if this quantity becomes larger than one, we're going to be dealing with a negative number. And that's possible for an arbitrary model that your predictions could be way off from your true values. This numerator is controlling how large this number becomes. And if y true becomes very far from y predicted, in other words, if there's a big gap between the true value and what your model is predicting, the numerator can become very big, which leads you to very negative R squared values. I know that some of you have been seeing this in the models that you've been trying on some of the data sets. What this means, if you see this on your score for your sklearn estimator, is that on this particular data, this estimator does worse than just guessing the average value. Don't panic, try a different model. 